Welcome back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. Today I'm going to show you how to properly fabricate studs out of threaded rod. Let's get started. So I have a 3816 piece of threaded rod here. It's probably about two and a half, three feet long. Um, threaded rod, you can typically buy it in three foot, six foot lengths, 10 foot, 12 foot, many different lengths you can buy it. If you have a project that you have many pieces of studs that you want to fabricate out of the threaded rod, I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. I'm not only going to demonstrate how to do it, but I'm also going to demonstrate the type of saw to use. Okay, because I have here a carbide blade saw, and then I also have here a abrasive saw. You get to see the difference between cutting with both. So I'm going to, this particular saw has a, I set up a jig for a specific size here for four inches. This also, this saw has a brace uh, or a vise to lock the product in, whereas this abrasive saw does not. They do have some of them that do come with it but this is a better saw for cutting purposes. And I'm going to show you that now. Um, very important, always wear eye protection and along with ear protection. All right, let's cut this. So I just cut the stud. You can see that there's a little burr on here, which I'll show you uh, how we're going to deal with that. Uh, but first, I'm going to cut another stud on the abrasive saw, which is right here. The carbide saw, you didn't see any sparks. This saw, you're going to see a lot of sparks. So this is the uh, threaded rod that I cut on the abrasive and you can see the residue left over from the cut. Not only that, but this gets very hot when using the abrasive cutter. This is what's left over from using the um, carbide blade and there's a little bit left over, but not much. Depending on the size of the product and the material that you're cutting, um, you'll have less of this um, burring happening here. So now I'm going to use my grinder to remove this excess uh, metal. So I have here a uh, four inch uh, grinder with an abrasive metal, abrasive disc on it. And is this a, uh, a battery um, grinder, um, cordless. And I'm going to uh, now grind this head to get rid of this so I can uh, chamfer the edge after this. So you can see there, I flattened it out. It's pretty clean. I'll do this other one. This is the, uh, the threaded rod that I cut on the uh, carbide saw. See a lot less work. It's a, nice, it's a nicer finish. Um, so from, from here now, I'm going to put it in the vise and I'm going to chamfer the edge. So I'm going to chamfer my stud, the edge, so I can get a nut on here with no problem. I have here my battery drill with a uniburr chamfering bit, as you can see here. 
And I'm just gonna put constant pressure on this edge. And you can see there, it's nicely chamfered. So you can start your nut on there with no problem. And that's a four inch stud. I have another one to show you. You can see this goes pretty quickly. And there's your perfect stud. From both here. Look light, nicely finished. Now these aren't both the same size, but this was for demonstration to show you how it's done. Thanks for watching. There you go. Subscribe, like, comment. Visit us at albanycountyfasteners.com for 50,000 SKUs right off the rack, ready to ship. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.